Peace, peace. What's up, y'all? This is Krill from Out The Box. Got another review video for y'all. This video is about a new album by a really, really dope artist that I actually got the chance to interview this year with another artist named Novelist. His name is Mega Ran. Mega Ran put out this new album entitled Live 95, which is kind of an ode to 90s basketball. Some of y'all may be familiar with Live 95 as like one of the basketball video games that came out in the 90s. I definitely was on it when I had the Sega Genesis, you know, and I know my homie had the the uh, Super Nintendo. Live 95 was the thing before 2K, all right? So for all y'all cats that's new and first started hearing about basketball video games with 2K, Live 95 was the original 2K, just like Madden, you know, so that was like the EA Sports games. So it was cool that he did an album titling it Live 95 and kind of paying homage to basketball in the NBA in the 90s. So that album is so dope. You know, it came out, uh, I want to say some weeks ago, and I was listening to it and I was like, I knew it was going to be dope because Mega Ran always kind of, you know, takes it there, right? Lyrically, a lot of his music is, it has the whole video game or the comic book theme to it. So it was kind of cool to see him take on the 90s basketball theme. And when I first heard it, like skimming through some of the tracks, I was like, oh, it sounds dope. But after like taking a full listen to this project, I really, really like it. It's highly inspirational. You know, the Bandcamp description explains it as a, it's actually his 11th solo LP where he explores the intrinsic relationship between hip hop, basketball, and the inner city cultures that have allowed each to thrive. The album shines a light on many of the traits required to be a champion from coaching to hard work and even a little luck. So that's what the band camp description gives us uh, some details about the album on. And just to kind of go through it, the production, the majority of the production is produced by DN3. But there's also some uh, other producers that are involved, like New York Brass, Fresh Kills, Yoni Lee, Yoni Lee, I'm sorry, K Mur and K Murdoch. And I believe Mega Ran also contributes, I think, production to one of the tracks. So I just want to go through some of the, the actual songs on the album. So I'll, I'll say the ones that really stand out to me that I really like. Obviously, the 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 single "Flight 2.0" definitely one of my favorites on the album. It has that. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but like growing up in the '90s, Michael Jordan had a, a "Be Like Mike" commercial, and you would hear the singing. Sometimes I be to be like Mike, like Mike. If I could be like Mike. So there's a single on there that does a rendition of that. And it's so nostalgic. It just takes me back to that time of, you know, watching the Chicago Bulls in the 90s. And during the commercials in the playoffs, you would hear the Like Mike commercial. So he he does, you know, he has a single on there kind of doing that rendition, you know. And it's, the song is actually like reminiscent of like, you know, coming up, you know, trying to cop Air Jordan kicks or Air Jordan sneakers and cop, you know, fly flight sneakers. So it reminds me of that time when I was growing up and Air Jordans was like a big thing. It still is a big thing, but this was like in the 90s. So this was like in its prime, you know, so I like definitely like that track. I like Comeback Player of the Year, which comes before that. Uh, also, the Craig Hodges track is really dope. I think you get to hear Craig Hodges, who, if you guys don't know, Craig Hodges was like a, a elite basketball player that also played alongside Michael Jordan on the Chicago Bulls. And uh, 
so he makes a uh there's an interlude where you hear him speaking about uh his ex his relationship with Michael Jordan and then there's like a really dope line that uh Regaran says on that track at the end of the song he says not everything that's faced can be changed but the fact is nothing could be changed until it's faced wow that's profound right there and that's another thing what I like about Mega Ran is like he's very profound with his lyrics, even though he's very like playful and, you know, really easy going when you in terms of his lyrics. He says a lot of deep stuff, too, you know. So, yeah, man, that's a dope track. I also like the track that comes after that uh, or yeah, it comes. I don't know if it comes right after, but it definitely comes after that. Is called In The Game, featuring the Outlaws. And it has a Tupac vibe to it. Like, I could actually hear, like, Tupac rhyming on a track like that. And I noticed that before I even realized Outlaw, Outlaws were, was on the track. So when they came on the track, I was like, oh, wow. Like, it makes so much sense, right? And it's very inspirational. It's very motivational. Their verses are very, like, inspirational as well like i really like that that track in the game and then there's another track that i like that is called fab five which if you know about college basketball history the university of michigan had a team called the fab five and it included chris weber as well as jalen rose and a few other pretty uh dope basketball players in that car i actually remember watching the Fab Five play back in the 90s. So what's cool is that there's five MCs on this track, I guess to go with the whole Fab Five theme, and it features Mickey Fax, Alfred Banks, uh, Meta Oracle, and MC Esoteric of Zarface, in addition to Mega Ran. So it's really cool to have that. Esoteric's verse is pretty dope too, because he actually references some basketball players of that era so he he references Kerry Kittles he even references Craig Sager and uh Clyde Drexler Craig Sager the um the late announcer basketball announcer and also Drazen Petrovic as well so like it, it's it's dope man it's dope I, I like that track uh nine, 1995 Generation of Miracles is a dope track as well I really like the interlude with Tim Hardaway, where you get to hear, if you guys don't know who Tim Hardaway is, he's like the crossover king. Like, like I remember watching him in the 90s playing for the Golden State Warriors. He was like a legend in terms of crossovers. That's what he was known for, doing the basketball crossover. And he was a really good player overall, too. Him and Chris Mullen played on the Golden State Warriors. This is before Curry, right? You know, and, and Clay. So... It was cool to hear him on a track. And this is actually him speaking, you know, for the album. And it's an interlude where he pretty much is talking for about two minutes, a little over two minutes. And he's talking about, you know, how he used to watch his dad play basketball when he was growing up. His dad was like a playboy legend. And, you know, the wisdom he gained from his dad and the older heads that was around him and just kind of encouraging youth to you know listen to the wisdom of the older men right and, and and he felt like you know that being kind of missing today but encouraging youth to do that and and you know just striving to be your best and you know practicing and and just gaining wisdom it's a really inspirational track and you hear him speak for like i said about two minutes under an instrumental which i like the instrumental effect to it it, it makes it sound really cool then there's a track called boxing one Featuring Della Fumbi, Funky Homo Sapien. So what's cool is there's a lot of dope features on here. I really like the song Godly Dreams. It has another uplifting, inspirational vibe to it. Where it's kind of like keep on kiss, pushing, keep on rising to the top. Overcoming adversities and, you know, keep on till you achieve. That's kind of like the overall message on that track. Then there's the track Tractor Beam where you find Mega Ran kind of singing throughout most of the song. He has a little verse on there too. 
And um, it's really about like, this has like this funky soul vibe, but Mega Ran is like singing throughout most of it. And it's about kind of like getting back an old love. So that's the relationship track, if there's any relationship track on the album. And then For the Love of the Game. Ooh, I love that track. That's that's the actual final track if you're on digital streaming platforms. But there's a bonus track on Bandcamp called Over and Under. But the For the Love of the Game track, I really like that. It, it, it's a really dope way to kind of close that album. It's, it's, it's all about like loving what you do, right? And doing that, right? Like doing what you love, like your your connection to your passion is all about recognizing that. And Mega Ran talks about his, you know, his experience with being able to do what he loves and why it's been able to, you know, prove successful for him as an artist. You know, so, you know, and he has a line on there where he says, run from your fears and chase your dreams. I think he says it a few times, run from your fears and chase your dreams. I really like that, man. Like, stay on your path, stay focused, chase your dreams, and don't let fear get in your way, you know? Uh, so like I said, man, this is a really dope album. I love the fact that it's so inspirational, it's uplifting, but it's also nostalgic for people who grew up in the 90s that like listening to, you know, that, that was following the basketball scene in the 90s. So big ups to Mega Ran. The new album is Live 95. It's now out on Bandcamp, but it's also available on digital streaming platforms. So go check that out and support it, you know, if you if you like what you hear. All right. Thank you for checking out another video. I'm going to be trying to do these videos every day. Right. So I'm going to be posting new videos on a regular basis. Pretty much, like I said, my goal is to do this every day where you get some visual insight into some of the best hip hop albums that's come out this year. And also, I'm going to try to do some soul albums as well and probably even some singles if I get a chance. So definitely subscribe to this platform. Please subscribe because if you are if you want to be put on on all the dopest hip hop that's out, especially that hip the hip hop that's like conscious and inspiring. This is a good video. Uh, this is a good platform to check for. All right. So subscribe to Out the Box Media. This is the YouTube channel for Out the Box Media. Thank you again. And I will see you on the next video. Peace, love, and light. Oh, yeah. Check out my other channel, Out the Box TV, as well. All right. That's on YouTube where you can catch all the interviews that I do with artists like Mega Ran and a, a lot of dope independent, you know, hip hop artists. All right. But thank you again. Subscribe and share the video if you like it. Peace out.